Hello, my name is Karen Danner and I wanted to demonstrate for you today some of the activities and assignments that I've designed in one of my existing courses. Um, the course that I'm going to be taking you through is a survey of anthropology. It's Anthropology 100. This is the home page. I thought I would take you into one of the um, assignments that I've developed. I'm going to click on the modules here in the upper left hand corner and scroll down to one of these assignments that I've developed. This assignment is an assignment that I developed in a module entitled um, Classification of Modern Humans. Um, it's based on the chimpanzees of Gombe National Park. I'm going to go ahead and click on the assignment. So the assignment that I have here, um, I've developed using a template that I use in nearly all of my assignment designs, um, and that's to work the assignment in four different stages. I usually um, develop the assignment by working up the kind of purpose of the assignment, um, providing a basic background for the assignment. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is that I constantly reference the textbook, um, where we are in the textbook, and how this assignment relates to some of the information that we um, have covered in the textbook. Um, the second thing that I think is important about this part of the assignment development is to develop the purpose of assignment. I often use the course outcomes and or the module outcomes as sort of a touchstone for the purpose of the assignment and I like to make sure to establish that um, for the students when they actually access the assignment so that they understand that they, there's intention and purpose behind the assignment. So the second part of developing the assignment is usually what I call the background information, what they will need to complete the assignment. So in this case, they will have had to have read chapter five for, from their textbook. Um, watch the video below on the Chimps of Gombe and um, carefully observe and take notes while they're um, while they're watching the video. And then the third stage of the assignment is um, the assignment um, instructions. And usually I uh, itemize the list of assignment instructions um, partly because I find in the online environment often many of the assignments have a technological, a technological component that um, can be tricky to navigate. So I make sure that students are aware of some of the um, requirements that are being asked of them in the assignment instructions. So um, in the case of this assignment, um, I have, I'm asking them to identify three physical, biological, or social um, traits or characteristics that um, chimpanzees have in common with or in ways that they differ from modern humans. And then I provided a link to a Google Docs a table um, that I've developed for them to collaborate with their fellow students in order to build a, comprehens a comprehensive um, table of the similarities and differences of chimpanzees to modern humans. So if I click on that link, it will take me to the um, table that I've developed. I've outfitted the table so that um, it started, an example of the expectation is in the table itself um, with some simple instructions about how to um, how to access the table. So um, use the tab but button on your computer keyboard to add a new row if there are not enough rows in existence. So then what I have the students do, I'm going to navigate back into Canvas, um, is um, I've embedded that table into the assignment so students can actually watch this assignment grow as the students add um, add their ideas um, and reflections to the to the existing table. Um, and then the fourth part of the assignment that I think is really important um, is the grading standards for the assignment. I'm usually very specific about what will afford the students points for the students, how they can achieve a, um, a good grade for the assignment. Um, so I've embedded a table in Canvas um, using the the canvas, canvas function for um, table creation. Um, I've embedded this table within the assignment to accomplish that fourth task. And then um, one of the things that I'm asking students to do is to post a personal response to the film in a discussion forum. So one of my um, one of my 
concerns or one of my debates in establishing this assignment was um, what what Canvas template to use when I was developing this assignment, um, whether I should make it an assignment or whether I should make a discussion post, um, how I should um, treat this assignment. And what I found is one of my goals is um, to kind of recreate some of the elements of an on-the-ground class. Um, so if we were to watch this film, which is intrinsically interesting to watch chimpanzees and chimpanzee behavior, if we were to watch this film in class, we would often have a, a sort of post-film discussion, um, noting particular behaviors. Um, students would be able to share their reactions um, and their experiences kind of watching the film. Um, so I didn't want to lose that component. And the second thing is I really like to build um, a sense of community in my online classrooms. Um, and a way to do that is to allow for opportunities for discussion amongst their peers. So I've added a component to this assignment um, in which I ask them to um, personal a post a personal response um, to the assignment. And I've outlined that um, as you scroll up, you'll notice that I outlined that in the assignment instructions as well. So I really like to develop my assignments in that four stage, using that four stage method. And that's the, the sort of purpose of the assignment, um, what they need to complete the assignment, the assignment instructions, um, as well as the um, the grading criteria for the assignment. So the second assignment, and I'm going to scroll back up to the top, the second assignment that I wanted to profile for you today, I'm going to click on modules. The second assignment that I wanted to profile for you today, I'm just kind of navigating through, is an assignment that I developed on in our human sexuality module. Um, it's called the Gender Puzzle, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that assignment. And you'll notice, again, I've utilized the same sort of um, assignment design um, in developing in this assignment. Um, one, creating a sort of purpose for this assignment. This assignment is designed to help you think about and understand the complexities of gender and gender identity, um, what they need to complete the assignment, so reading the chapter, um, watching the film, and consulting the diagram below. And this is where I've embedded um, a JPEG of a um, what's termed um, a, a diagram of sex, gender, and sexual identity, and it's a diagram that documents the different axes um, that represent gender, um, sex, gender, and, um, and sexual identity. Um, so I ask students to, one, watch the film, two, consult the diagram, and I have a series of questions that I have posed to them that they need to respond to in the um, in the discussion assignment. So you'll see that the third part of the assignment is the assignment instructions, um, post a response to the following questions, the requirements for your response. Again, I've created an itemized list that lets students know specifically what's being asked of them um, in terms of the length and the quality of their submission. And this time, in terms of their grading criteria, I wanted to grade their discussion ho holistically. Um, so I identify some key elements um, within their discussion posts that I'm kind of looking for in terms of grading criteria. Um, and then I ask students to post in to the assignment. So there you have it. Those are the two assignment designs that I've created. One of the things that you'll note is that um, I'm very aware of UDL and um, developing assignments that um, are designed in such a way that they're clear, um, easy to navigate, um, the text and font is nice and big so that students don't become lost in the morass of text. Um, and so those are the couple of things that I'm very cognizant as I'm designing my assignments. Um, the second thing that um, I'm really sort of aware of is developing an assignment that's a, that's very specific. Um, and, and, and over the years, I've discovered that the more specific, the, the better quality of assignments I will receive from the students. Um, so there you have it my two assignments, the gender puzzle and the chimps of Gandhi.